Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Oxygen May or May Not Be Included, something to do with outer space. I am your host, Get Good Fox, and this is the very doomed expedition of the great. Wait, sweep it up here. That's not supposed to be there. The Great Fox Republic. Now, if you missed the last stream. I built something that would solve a problem, and I'm going to try to do it again. And and it might not work, but that's perfectly fine. I I will I will find a way to make it work. So first thing we need to do is uh, deconstruct all of this. All it all has to go. All of it. How much of it? All of it. This this all needs to go. Do it now. Before poo poo time occurs, poo poo time occurs, it will be. It, it will not. Wait, this probably can stick. So, the first problem I realized that we could improve is that we can flip this thing around. I didn't know I could do that. I just pushed the button one day to flip it around, and it flipped around. I'll show you. I'll, I'll be, I guess I should show you what I mean. You see how it's green on the right side and white on the left side? Well, we can flip it around. Here we go. Refinement. Now I just have to push the O button and oh, now it's white on the right side and it is green on the left side. Why does it matter? You, you might wonder why that matters. That's a, a very good question. I, I'll be happy to tell you why it matters. But before, I need to trim this wire. And, uh, we, we need to make sure we do this in a timely manner. Okay. Actually, no, that's perfectly fine. That, that was the whole point of this design. I, I, I remember that now. Okay, you are going to go into here. Yes, you go into there. And you are going to go into here. Okay, good. Yes, okay, so what is the problem? The problem with this system is that it creates more water than it uses. In other words, let's say it uses one kilogram of water. Well, it gives off 1.2 kilograms of water. In other words, for some reason, the tanks will... I don't, don't ask me why it does that. That's just the way the game works. And because, that it, because that's the way the game works, there is a problem. It will eventually run out. These tanks will eventually fill up with water, is what I'm saying. There will be there will come a point where it, it just there's too much water. It's just not going to it's not going to work. And so, uh, what you have to constantly do is find a way to you know refill re redo the water. Now, the, what I wanted to do was create a system that would skim off the excess water, but not get rid of all the water. You see, if we got rid of all of the water, there would be a problem. The problem, and that problem would be that we need some water to keep, basically, okay, if we run out of water, these stop working. So we need to get rid of the excess water, but we need to do it preferably in a way that is kind of automatic, in a way that, you know, it, everything just kind of fixes itself, and it's very all magical and mystical. Also, I, I've decided that I don't want, actually, we will take care of that later. Stop eating all of my sedimentary rocks. I don't, you're not allowed to eat them. Yeah, okay. No, this is all fine. Never mind. What do you what what is your diet consist of sandstone? Did we switch everyone to sandstone? We switched everyone to sandstone. Okay. Now it took me a little while to figure out how to do it, but I have nevertheless figured out how to do it. So the problem is that we might not have the correct technology. So the first thing I'm gonna do is type in shut because I need to look for a liquid shut off. I wanna make sure that I have it. I do. The next thing I need is a liquid pipe sensor for what was I going to do? Um, uh oh, no, that's all I need. All I need is the shut off. That's all I need. Okay. So we have everything that we need to build the thing. All right. So let's go ahead and build the liquid shut off and I want it to go. Um, probably right here. Right here is fine. There's no, there's nothing wrong with it being right here. Or do I want it right here? Because remember, it goes gr green to white is, is always the key. We'll build it here temporarily. And then I will wire it up. And I will give it some electricity. 
If if it's an ugly shape, I will. I'll change. It. We can change. It. So now the thing is, this needs to fill up with water. Like uh, that. That's part of the point of this system. All right. So the poo poo water is going into here. Now we haven't connected this pipe to anything, so it's just going to start collecting it over time. And this is now emptying its contents into here. And so right now we are losing water. Not technically, because the, the, the extra water is going into here, but the system is losing some water, the clean water. And that's fine. What we're going to do is design this to skim off the excess poo-poo water. That's, that's the plan. We're just going to skim off the excess poo-poo water. And put it into here. And it won't use really any electricity at all. It'll be it'll be great. It'll work. It's gonna it's it should work. If it doesn't work, then I will be the big sad. But first we have to I, we have to wait for all this water to drain out. So yes. And it's almost done. We can see right here that this is almost empty, and that's almost full. Don't you love playing with poo-poo? Because that's what we're doing. We are playing with all of the poo-poo. Okay, so this water here. Uh, the other problem is that this water has uh, germs in it, so we can't just, you know, we can't just get rid of this water. It's, it's full of the duty water, and since it's full of the duty water, it, it's not, it's not ideal. So let's get rid of all of this. This, this thing goes away. Perfect. You know what? Let me get some technology researching in the meantime. Also, get, get rid of that bike. Okay, something I want to start working towards. You know, I need I need to keep everyone busy. We we don't want people just to stand around idle. Let me see. I know there's something that I want to work towards. Um, I think I want to work towards more automation. Automation is super good. Uh, let's see. Right here. Yeah, let's have them work on smart storage and solid transportation. That's that's perfectly good. Is there anything to drill? I mean, we've done a lot of drilling, though, so the answer is probably no. Oh, what about the stations? We were going to build some stations. Atmo suit. Yeah, because we were going to punch through the, uh, the top over here. That's right. Um, also, this. Okay, build one of these here. That was always part of the plan. When are you going active? Oh, okay, you've got 28 days to go active. Oh, that's that's perfectly fine then. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build some of the docks. Atmos suit dock checkpoint. How much do these use? Oh, they use so much. It makes me sad. I don't want to use all this. We'll build three of them. No, not right there. Let's try that again. Um, Atmo suit dot. Wait. One, two, three, and then the checkpoint goes here. Okay. There's some things for you guys to work on. Okay. Over here, what we're going to do is now uh, we need to wire this up. It's wired up. Good. So step two is going to be like this. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay. We need to reverse it. I am now. We need to flip this around. Do it, do it now. Flip it around. Flip it. Flip it, do it now. Do it now. Not later, now. I want it now. And that's just because like, I need the green, because green is going to go into white. Okay, so here we go. Um, flip it around. Where is it? Liquid shut off. Like that. Now we got to rewire this a little bit. Oh, we don't have to rewire that. How nice. Okay, there we go. Trim that off. Okay, you're gonna go into here. And I'm not gonna connect it to anything yet. And this is gonna go over here. And I'm not gonna connect anything yet. So now what we need to do is set this to a 10, and we're gonna set that to a 10. Now we, we could, it doesn't have to be a 10, it could be a 5. I said 5. You can be a five. Okay, ten is... Oh, wait, no, no. The, it's over the low. Okay. So, let's see. What, what... Okay, hold on a second. So, here's what we're doing. 
what we are doing. So anytime you want to know what an automation signal does, you just click this little button here. This is the automation overlay. And while it's open, you can point at any of these plugs and it will tell you what language the signal is using for its yes and no. Remember, green is yes and red is no. So basically, the way this liquid reservoir works is it will send a yes or no signal based on how full it is. So if it's too, if it's beyond and, and you were able to set some parameters. So the parameters here, let me, I'll put them on low. So they continue moving. So we have a high threshold and a low threshold. And I've set them to the same value. And the reason I set them to the same value is because it becomes a greater than or less than statement. Basically, it's going to say one statement is if it's over 10 or if it's under 10. And that's that's really all I want because basically I want this liquid shutoff to activate or deactivate completely based around whether or not it is too full or not full enough. So what we're gonna do is, as long as it is too full, then we want this to stay shut off. And so right now it's not too full, that's, that's what it means. So let's go ahead and reduce it to a five. We could bring the parameters down. In fact, that might not even matter either. So like, it's it's not even it's not full enough to to even matter. Anyways, the point is that right now it's sending a green signal and it's sending a green signal because it is not very full. It's like the the fullness level is it's below five in this case. The number here doesn't really matter. I have it set to a low value just because it will cause this to kick in very quickly. Five, I believe, just means like five percent capacity. So in that case, what it means, what so what it's gonna do is in the event that the connect this up, says so that's gonna work correctly. So here's how it's gonna work. If the tank is below five percent capacity, meaning it's very low then this thing is going to activate and it's going to cause all of the poop water to go through the system like normal. Now, like I said, this is eventually going to fill up, right? This is going to become too full. And once this hits its full capacity, let me speed it up a little bit. All right, so now we're putting the doo-doo water in. Okay. It's actually, this is perfect. It, we actually just hit the 5% five, the 5 threshold. So we just hit the 5% threshold, which means it's too full. Now, when it's too full, the system says no. And when it says no, basically, like, who cares if it says no? Well, the shutoff, when, when you tell the shutoff no, the shutoff will not allow poop water to go into here. Now, why do we do it this way? Because basically it means anytime this thing is, as I said, generating too much water. It is going to stop, it's basically gonna starve the system. And that means the system is gonna lose water, right? Because like I said, the problem with the system is that it loses water. It's gonna, oh, hold on a second, we need to, another thing we need to change is that. And we need to do this. There we go. Okay, so uh, basically, we need to starve the system of water to cut down on the total amount of water because it starts to flood. And that's what we're going to do. So when this backs up and it becomes too full, what will happen is this is going to start filling up. And once this fills up too much, this is going to prevent any additional water from going into the system, which will starve the water out of here. And it will divert the water into here. In fact, I could probably just go like that. I actually don't like it in that pattern. We can go like this. There. No. And what that will do is all of this extra water is just going to get pumped into here. And now once they finish this pipe, we'll see that it actually does exactly that when they eventually finish it. There we go. Oh no. Okay, we gotta, okay, I've gotta do one more thing apparently. Okay, so the right now the system is a little confused on what direction the water is supposed to flow. So I'm gonna use this liquid bridge to, the, the, basically there's nothing to bridge over. We're not bridging over anything, but this will tell the game what direction the water is supposed to flow. 
And as you can see, now it's doing exactly that. Basically, because this thing is pumping the water out, it's kind of like, what direction is the water supposed to go? And so now we, this bridge is just telling it, nope, the water doesn't go up, it goes down. And now we're doing exactly that. So now all of the excess water, and I can even turn this off. If I turn this off, these plants will start drinking up even more water. And it will start to, you can see these little like bubbles will start to like lose their fill. You can see them getting smaller because they're drinking up the water over time. And over here, as I said, this thing is too full, so it's basically taking all of the excess water, and then once this unfills, like once this drops below five, like let's go ahead and bring it up to 10%, so you can see. So like once we, uh, 10 I said, make it 10. So now, now we've bumped it up, so now it's diverting the water in, like so. Now some of the water is still going through, and that's because this system can't take that much water at once. It can't, it basically can't consume that kind of the quantity of water that we're feeding into it. So anytime this thing gets blocked up, it diverts any extra water there. But with this system working this way, it means we will, even though this is filled up with water and it looks like the system would be backing up, it's okay because we have a fail safe here that diverts all of the extra water to these plants down here, which is perfectly good. In fact, another way we could make this even simpler Let's just cut these and... Let's just go right here. And we all... Oh, another, another way we can do this is... Uh, let's see. We can just dump the water here. All of the excess water gets dumped there. And then we can cut these pipes. And that way, this is basically, ref basically, we're going to get a constant trickle of polluted water. And that's perfect. And that, that way, we have resolved the issue of this thing overflowing with water. And at the same time, we're not wasting the water either. All of this additional water is going to go straight over to these plants. So we're basically converting the extra water into thimble reed. And now we can just flip this on, which will continue to pump this into the plants. Over here, we can say if it is below 70 degrees, that will flip on. So this thing is here just to keep the plants warm. The plants are pretty warm though, so I don't, I'm not too worried about that. There we go. So now that system should work just fine. And so it took me a little while to figure it out because like the language was confusing me. Also, we're looking for an operator. That's of like the highest importance right now. I need an operator. Operators would be fantastic. Okay, so over here we have the Atmos suit. Let's have them deliver the suits. And what we're going to do is finally turn this thing on. Why is this going over here? Why, why did we... I don't even remember. Why did I build this like that? I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, I need a gas shut off. And, uh, where am I going to build the gas shut off? Right here. Oh, it won't fit there. Okay. Gas shut off. You go into here. And then there's going to be... It's going to go... That's kind of ugly looking, actually. No, 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 no. I have changed my mind. Cancel. Cancel. Okay, let's let's do it the other way around. Hold on a second. Let me let me do slow time so at least people keep going. Gas shut off. Maybe we need to flip it around like this. Yeah, we need to flip it around like that. Gas shut off goes in. You can go here. Like so. Like that and then you are going to go like I don't like to cross them like like that, there we go. And then I need to wire this. We're not quite done yet. We need one more thing to make this work. I need the uh, element wire, which I don't think I have. Uh, do I have it? I need the... 
Where is it? Uh, so let's type in sensor. Sensor. There it is. I need the gas pipe element sensor. Oh, we do have gas pipe element sensor. I, I need a little. Okay, I need a little more uh, time to crush some more copper. Two. Just give me, give me two. Don't. Let's not crush all the copper. Also, apparently these need electricity. We got this. I'll explain how this system works as well. Let me get a ventilation duct. Gas vent. Are you guys doing everything? Okay. I need a uh, element sensor. Why can't I see the ventilation? Okay, now now I can see. Oh darn it! It's too compact. Um, that's fine. No, it's not fine. It's not fine. Um, well, no, it's not fine. This isn't gonna work. It's a little too compact. Okay, we'll just remove this. I forgot that there has to be. We need a little more room. Okay, let's remove all these things. Okay, we need a little more room. Okay, here we go. So I set it to slow. Ventilation. Gas shut off. There has to be some room for... Like this. Right here. Okay. Gas element sensor goes here. Wire it on. Electricity. Trim that away. Okay, here's how it works. You go into here like so, and then you curve out that way, and then you go out there. Okay, now it should work. Now it should be perfectly, it should be uh, perfectly fine. Should be nothing wrong with it. Should be beautiful. Should be amazing. How many suits do we have? At Mo? Oh, I need another suit. Give me another suit. We need another s- Oh, I, I'm out of- How much do we need? Oh, you need a lot. Wow. Okay, um, let's crush some more copper, I guess. Not the most efficient use of copper, but, you know, I'm trying to use as little as possible. Let's sweep out these eggs. Get the eggs out of here. Get them out of here now! I, I mainly want you to get the eggs out of here. Yep, yeah, get those eggs out of here. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Okay, kick those out. Alright, so now I need to set this to non-breathable gases, carbon dioxide. And it should work. Alright, so now I can flip the switch. This is out. okay, slow. This is how it works, so we're gonna flip the switch, and it should work. Okay, now first off, we're gonna check the gas. So over here, we are mainly full of uh, high oxygen, and there's a little puff of carbon dioxide from the duplicants exhaling. So here's how it works. We flip the switch, on it goes, and we can now see that we are pumping out oxygen. The oxygen is being created by this oxygen diffuser. That's how it's gonna, because it, it, that's how it's gonna supply it with oxygen. Now here's the deal. Only oxygen can be allowed to go into these Atmos suit docks. If anything else, if any other kind of gas, a non-oxygen gas, goes into these Atmos suit docks, the docks will get damaged. They will be basically... You will have to spend, we'll have to spend resources to repair them. And the resources are just totally wasted. It's just a waste. So we need something that will prevent other gases from getting into this main pipe. And there's always a chance that this little puff of carbon dioxide could get in there, even though the carbon dioxide is heavier. So, what we're doing is we're pumping the gas first into this system right here, this gas shutoff. The shutoff is currently off, and that's because it's hooked up to this element sensor, and the element sensor is looking for carbon dioxide. If the element sensor senses carbon dioxide right in this little area here, then the gas shutoff will turn on, 
and it will seal this off, meaning that the, the oxygen won't be, basically the next gas won't be able to go through it, and it'll instead go out of here into a vent, and that means it will ventilate all of the carbon dioxide, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want to happen, and as you can see over here, can we build another, build one. We need a little more, apparently. Let's get one more. And then we can have the, the final one. And that will allow us to finally breach the surface of the asteroid. We'll actually be able to walk around and do stuff on the asteroid surface. As you can see, this is all being filled up with oxygen. I don't know why it's saying no oxygen. It's being filled with oxygen. Don't lie to me. It's acting like there's no oxygen in there. Oh, it could be because the suit is absorbing. Yeah, I think the suit is absorbing all of the oxygen right now. This is the reserve. Of, okay, so what's happening is the suit is being charged with oxygen, is being filled up, and this is the reserve gas. Like, this is the reserve tank, so that if they put the suit back, then the the reserve amount of oxygen would be put into there. I, I, I see what the issue is. It's just going to take a moment for this thing to fill up. So let's go back into fast time. Why is this... Okay, everything should be fine. It's beautiful. Everything's working. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not unhappy with anything. It's all fine. Let's see, how close are you to laying a smooth egg? 15% of the way. It's going to take a little while. We're trying to avoid refining... I probably should have gotten onto that sooner. Over here we can see that the system is not full. So we're still getting, like, water in here. Also, the reason we're using this gas shutoff is because the gas shutoff only uses 10 watts. It's not a very, uh, it doesn't consume a lot of power to do it this way. So it's all, it's all pretty good. Okay, we've got plenty. We don't need to do any of that right now. Yeah, we need to get through. We will get through the asteroid surface, but right now we need to work on... Oh, I just, I just want to see it work. Oh man, I just love, I love seeing it work. Yes. Yes. When, I, I wonder when it's going to clog, because it's going to back up eventually. It's going to clog, and it's going to, basically what's going to happen is, this pipe here is going to clog up, because this is going to be too full of water. When is it going to happen, though? They're still refining the water. Yeah, it's still got room. How much water are you at? Must be five, oh, 5,000 kilograms is when it would fill up completely. We're still doing fine though, so, I mean, maybe we'll never see it because, like, I would have to actually physically be there to watch it. Everything is just, and we're getting the reed fiber? How are we doing on this? We can make snazzy suits now. Make like four of them. Oh man, we can make snazzy suits. Do it! Make a snazzy suit. Oh, yeah. Oh, S Psycho. Miss Psycho just... It, who knew she was the fashionista making the fancy suits? Oh, they have fancy suits. Take a moment. Like, I should probably put a light there. I should probably... Yeah, let's put a light here. Automations. Motion sensor. Yeah, that's taking a while. Motion sensor will allow us to... I, I said I wouldn't be using too many more of these, and yet here I am. It's under furniture, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Automation wire. Oh, I'm out again. Ah! Yeah, we need to put these every anywhere people are doing work that takes a while. That that would be really really useful. Okay, let's go ahead and wire this. I see that the circuits are beginning to fry. Oh yes, they're they're close to a thousand watts. A thousand watts is the frying point. Hmm, that's probably a bad thing. Wouldn't want to fry all of the systems by running them simultaneously. That would be a shame. Okay, so yeah, over here you can see these are filling up now, and that's because the suits are fully charged. And now it's basically going to get a reserve amount of oxygen. Uh, in order to deal with circuits, to prevent them from frying, we're going to have to create sec separate circuits. And eventually that will become so complicated that we will have to build a power transformer. There we go. So now she has a lit workspace. It's, it's, she's, it's straight up lit. It's just lit. There we go. 
How do you enjoy in these these cold floors? Do they make you happy? There we go. So now we have an automation thing here, so we don't use any excessive amount of electricity, nor do we use an excessive amount of um, heat. I'm pretty sure these are fast, so I don't think we really need to mess with that. Oh wait, the snazzy suits. We were going to do that. Okay, well, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna start assigning snazzy suits to people. Um, let's see who gets a snazzy suit. Psycho, you made one. You know, like you get to have a snazzy suit. Um, who else deserves a snazzy suit? Not Laughing Zed. Laughing Zed is a doo doo. Uh, Cat, you get a snazzy suit. Here we go. Oh, snazzy suit time. You see it? Snazzy suits. So we can we can always we can make more of them. No one says we can't do it. Okay, I guess Chubby Demon's gonna make a snazzy. Wait, what are you doing? You're supposed to be. Oh, you can't research. The circuits will fry. The snazzy suits are, like I said, are made out of these reed fibers. It's most luxurious. Like, it makes it makes everything more beautified. And okay, who else is gonna get a snazzy suit? Um, I mean, everyone is gonna eventually get a snazzy suit. There we go. How nice. Snazzy suit, what it does is... You can see the decor bonus moving around. It's very ugly in here, but what, what can we do? Come on, we need an operator. Give me an operator. Researching, suit wearing, building, farming, rocketry, ranching. No. 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 Also, I need to give Ellie a name. I forgot all about that. Uh, no, this is all fine. Actually, your morale is pretty good. I could give you improved carrying. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Giving everyone improved carrying is always worth it because that just means they can carry more, um, it just means they can carry way more equipment per run. So that's, that's always worth it. Um, same with all of our builders want to be able to carry stuff as well. So, uh, let's start upgrading people. Building. Ellie, I don't know who you're going to be, but you're going to be upgraded. You improved carrying. What is this? Doesn't matter. Everyone needs improved carrying. That's a really good one. Um, you get improved carrying. Uh, you get improved carrying. And you get improved carrying. Okay, so everyone is about to be able to like, you know, everyone's going to become like an Olympic bodybuilder basically and get like improved carrying, which is perfectly fine with me. Anyways, that's probably good enough for today's episode. I guess tomorrow we're going to finally breach the asteroid surface. So let me know what you think down in the comment section. Uh, if you've tried any of these designs, oh, look, everyone's getting promoted. If you've tried any of these designs, like the uh, like this water shutoff system, let me know. Let me know how it works for you. If, if anything doesn't work, once again, just let me know because it will be, you know, a thing. And I'll try to figure out how to fix any of these problems. But, uh, yeah. Like, uh, be patient. Like, if the game feels a bit challenging, just have, have some patience. It, it takes a little bit of learning. A really fun game, it just takes a little bit of learning. And, oh, we can see here that the oxygen is thinning out due to all the pumping. Eventually, these will hit their full capacity, though, and then the pumps will jam, which means this will stop draining so much electricity because the pumps are going to jam. Perfectly fine. That's exactly an intended feature. Anyways, let me know anything down in the comment section. Like, oh, make sure you're tuning into the Twitch streams because, you know, you never know when I'm going to be doing some oxygen not included. It's definitely, like, it's a separate idea, similar kind of base, separate designs, though. But, yeah, anyways, let me Anything down in the comment section, like the video, feels entertaining, subscribe for future oxygen not included spaced out content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.